What is something about our timeline that blows your mind? I'll go first. This is Marilyn Monroe. She was born June 1st, 1926, and back then, she was Norma Jean. She grew up in Los Angeles, but had a really rough childhood. Her mother was a single mom and couldn't always take care of her, so Marilyn spent a lot of time with foster families. Some of them weren't so great. She was working in a factory during World War II when she met a photographer who helped her launch her pinup career. Marilyn was really interested in acting and she took this pretty seriously. She began taking acting lessons and continued to take them throughout almost her entire life. She wanted to continue to push herself and to be able to portray different types of characters in different roles. She got a reputation for being the sexy dumb blonde and she did star in a lot of comedies. One of my favorite movies of hers is Niagara which is a really dark suspense film. In the 1950s, she felt that she was being underpaid by the studios and refused to work until they renegotiated her contract. Refused, and in 1954, she founded her own production company. Did you know that Truman Capote, who wrote Breakfast at Tiffany's, had wanted Marilyn Monroe to portray Holly Golightly in the film? Marilyn was known for being difficult on set because she was a perfectionist and had OCD. The producers of the Breakfast at Tiffany's film thought that Marilyn would be too difficult to work with, so they ultimately went with Audrey Hepburn. This is Queen Elizabeth II. She was born April 21st, 1926, the same year as Marilyn Monroe. Elizabeth became heir presumptive when she was only 10 years old. When her father died in 1952, Elizabeth would become queen at the age of 25. I don't get into all the hype about the royals, but this is a badass picture from her coronation. At the time of her death, she was the monarch of 15 realms. Elizabeth reigned for 70 years. She was the longest reigning British monarch, the longest reigning female monarch of all time, and the second longest reigning monarch of a sovereign state in history. Did you know Marilyn actually met the queen? In 1956, Marilyn and the queen were both at the premiere for the Battle of the River Plate in London. At the time, both women were 30 years old.